going to go over her, her preliminary first spring outlook, which may include active severe weather, similar to snow, then some of our regions, and also some wet and dry patterns across various parts of the country, with some differences in temperatures as well across port, across our country. So before you get diving into that, please be sure to subscribe if you're not done already and like and enjoy our content. And as well as for and as well as hitting that notification bell. So let's get started. So according to our temperature forecast, we likely expect some colder than average temperatures across the northwest, with warmer temperatures across the rest of the country, with the highest anomalies across southeast and deep south which is we're expecting way well above normal temperatures, including Florida and, and the rest of the Gulf Coast. So that kind of, of dives into where that could we'd see some active severe weather. And then for the precipitation outlook, we're seeing we're expecting some rainy conditions or wetter than normal conditions across the northern portion of the country and then across the southern half of the country we expect some drier than normal conditions even some drought this all again this ties into our severe weather outlook so with the above normal precipitation above normal temperatures this is definitely going to be a good setup for above normal severe weather across the central portion of the country Again, this is just a forecast. This isn't in a guarantee that this is going to occur. This is just somewhat one, one of the outlooks hint to. And, you know, there's still a ways out before the spring comes. But here's just an early look to the forecasts. Again, things can change with time. So now we get into our severe weather outlook. This is where we have, we have our severe weather risk across the country during springtime. As you can see, the, the highest chance would include central southern plains and also lower Mississippi Valley, which is where we hide our pink zone. Areas of the Midwest, Florida, and as well as even stretching the northern plains, there is a lower but medium risk of weather, including the cities of Minneapolis, Milwaukee, Chicago, Detroit, Columbus, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Washington, D.C., Denver, Sioux Falls, Des Moines, St. Louis, Indianapolis, Atlanta, and Louisville. With less severe weather anticipated across the northeast and also northern tier. Specifically, it was near the border. Severe weather for the spring should largely remain confined to the east of the Rockies with limited available severe weather for the set for the west and US. And with this being said, we accept an active weather severe weather season given our temperature and precipitation forecasts that have have also come in, which you are were early in the video if you just skip to this point. But yeah, active severe weather and twin outbreaks are likely across the central portion of the country, especially in the dark red and purple zones, which is where we see that tornado outbreak potential. And who knows how many tornado outbreaks there could be. There could be several. There could be just one. We highlight the potential in, well, in the pink, dark red zone especially. So that being said, we're going to look into lingering snowfall potential this spring. So winter could be hanging around for another month or two in the spring, with March and April being likely some snow months across northern U.S., with the highest potential marked in the dark blue zone, which would include New England, northern Midwest, upper Midwest, northern plains, central plains, and also the Rockies and the western mountains. There's some lower chances across central portion of the country, but still not negligible yet. Including Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, Cleveland, Indianapolis, Detroit, and all those cities. There could also be a spring snowstorm or two heard during the months of March and April across any way across the northern half of the country, as highlighted by our map. 
So while we take this into consideration, again, this is a forecast, and I guarantee that this spring forecast will update. But here's what our first forecast initially shows at this moment. And then now here we get into our overall outlook. So this is the main area we expect our active sea weather, which would be in the red and dark red zones. That would also include sea weather and tornado outbreaks, any anywhere in the ports in the country to the south. Then you take a look here in the northeast and Great Lakes. You can see there could be some stormy weather, especially later in the season. And that could include maybe some severe weather. But we more focus that again in the red and dark red zones, which would be in the active severe weather zone. And then in the in the along the east coast and mid Atlantic, we expect some wet periods, plus so some blending with dry periods. But those could be like very wet periods too, with some soakers here and then. And then we expect some layering snowfall with the best potential across northern plains as highlighted in per our light blue zone, including Montana, Wyoming, Dakotas, Minnesota. That could mean that will include some layering colder air per hour near to slightly below normal temperatures forecasted for this region, as well as slightly above normal precipitation. And then for our northwestern region, we expect damper. We expect some damp weather early with some very rainy weather and some flooding concerns, especially early on in the season. For getting a little drier later on. And then for our central Rockies and central plains, we expect some warmer conditions, especially later in the season. But then again, cold periods would like also be likely even during this time, because it's not all all that warm, but it could also be very hot at times throughout spring, especially later on, obviously. And then for our southwestern regions, we expect some drought to develop or or get worse with with time, as we already expect some dry conditions this winter and this spring across many of these regions we had in the yellow zone. Again, this is a per forecast, not an actual whole observation or definitely what's going to happen. But this could provide us a hint on what we could see in the in the following season and the months to come in terms of weather as a whole across this country as to what the outlooks currently show and what models currently show for next spring. So this whole forecast will change in the next outlook or so. But again, I hope you have a good day. Please be sure to stay safe and and if you do see severe weather, please take the precautions if you're issuing a warning. If anything, especially if you're, if you're sheltering for a tornado or anything. But again, this is the forecast. Hope you have a good day.